arithmetic and geometric sequences are two different types of patterns. Remember that in arithmetic sequence, we are looking for a common difference. In a geometric sequence, we are looking for a common ratio. If you're trying to explain why something is arithmetic or geometric, you need to be sure that you use those words. You can say it is arithmetic because it has a common difference of two. Or you could say it is not geometric because it does not have a common ratio. But you need to make sure that you use that vocabulary in any of your explanations. This first example we know is for sure arithmetic because I'm adding four every time. That's the pattern that we're following. So if I wanted to give the next three terms, I could keep doing that. 19 plus 4 is 23, 23 plus 4 is 27, and 27 plus 4 is 31. And if we needed to specify, we know that the common difference is 4. This second one is an example of a geometric sequence because instead of adding or subtracting the same every time, we're multiplying by the same thing every time. Now, it might be a little bit tricky to figure out what's happening here because you see that it goes from negative to positive, negative to positive. Anytime you see it bounce back and forth like that, you know that your common ratio has to be a negative number because a negative times a negative would make a positive. We're multiplying by negative 2. And then if I multiply a positive by a negative, that's how I get back to a negative. So each one of these times we're multiplying by negative 2. So to continue this pattern, we would multiply by negative 2. So this is a positive times a negative. This would be negative 112, then positive 224, then negative 448. It has a common ratio of negative 2, okay? Graphing sequences, the way that we decide what ordered pairs we're supposed to graph is based on the term number. So we always want to set this up with the term number and then the term value, like what is the actual number in the sequence. So they've only given us four numbers in the sequence, so we're going to do one, two, three, and four. And then we just list the numbers from the sequence. One, three, five, seven. So we'll graph one, one, two, three, three, five, four, seven. Now remember on these, you should not connect the dots because the domain here is discrete. That's the definition of a sequence, is that you only use whole number values for the inputs. So you would not connect the dots because you would not connect the numbers in between.